Hello, Paul is Best for UK here, and welcome to another video. So it's Happy Saturday, it's Saturday evening. It's time for game of day. Nice and light outside, four forty-three. We can tell it's getting to the summer, and uh, we've got uh, Pacific Air Warriors Two, or sorry, Warriors Two Dogfight. So this is by Interactive Vision here. So let's have a look at this game here. This is a game, and yet another game I've never played. So uh, let's get straight in there and let's have a look. Now I have got a copyright claim on one of my videos recently. That was a FIFA one. I told you the, these modern consoles or more modern consoles have got actual music in which causes copyright claims. So that was a bit annoying. Uh, don't know if I should contest it. Probably not. Hopefully this has got some just generic video game music rather than actual bands and stuff singing. So let's have a look at this. So this is Pacific Warriors 2 Dogfight. So let's start the game. So let's see how much I can fit on here. Ooh, we won't fit. And there's no numbers either, so it would have been what is best UK, wouldn't it? So let's have a look at this. So let's start the game. Let's go to done here. I'm going to be America because I'm not... I presume this is World War Two or something. So let's do our difficulty level rookie because I'm shit at games. And let's have a look. It's quite obviously that I'm going to be flying uh, machines. So you're flying aircraft. It's quite cool the emulator does a virtual memory card. I don't know if you can so somehow transfer that data to a real memory card to use in a real PlayStation 2. There probably is ways of doing that. Let me know in the comments if there is ways of doing that because I have got a real P PS2. I've got the uh, PS2 Slim model with three MC boots installed. So let's have a look at this. Let's start the game and let's see what we've got. So where do I start? So we're going into training at the minute. So we'll start off on training. So we can like sort of... Okay, so some sort of upgrade. That people can do that. Let's just go for start. And we'll see what we got. So this is a game I've never played before, so this will be new to me. So is it loud in there? Yes, it is. Sorry for the game to loud. You got nice little progress bar there. And uh, we'll see what we got on this one. So it looks like we've got a choice of two planes, but it does say recommended on that one, so I'll go for that one. So you can use the R1 button to skip the takeoff sequence. So it automatically takes off by the looks of things. Doesn't look like I'll be performing the takeoff manoeuvre. There he goes. Up, up, and away! Right. Okay, so I think I've changed view and I don't know where to get it back. Whoa, I just bounced off the ground. It's a funny view. Is it supposed to be this view? Right, okay. Okay, so yeah, I've got like a sort of cockpit view. Ah, that's how you change views. Use the D-pad to change views. That one, for some reason, puts you in that. Not quite sure what I'm doing here. So, can I shoot? Yes, I can. 
Shall we follow this ride out the bottom, see what that green point is? Whoa! We've got this sort of view as well. And uh, that one. Like a flyby sort of external view. And uh, this internal one. Do we have to shoot these? It doesn't seem like you can die. Maybe because on the training mission you don't sort of die. I think, I think what we've got to go is go for the red ones, not the green ones. There we go. Oh, that's how you speed up and start down. With the L, L triggers on the left side. Right. Slow down a bit. I don't know how you shoot missiles. Whoa! Ooh, that was a bit nasty. So, have I claimed any damage? Right, okay, let's try and go through it again. So there's our targets, sir. Uh, let's try and get them. There might be a way of firing missiles, I'm not sure, I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, there we go. The bombs they are, not missiles. So let's go round again. I'm not sure what the uh, gauges mean on the side. <laughs> I just fired quite a few bombs there. Did I get them? I keep missing, didn't I? Oh, they're all still active. There's one destroyed. So you're not too bad of a game. Visually it looks okay, it looks apart. Not doing too good on the game though. Doing absolutely horrifically on the game. Oh, there's three more targets. Ooh. Oh now I'm dead. Whoa, mayday, mayday. Ooh. Spectacular explosion in the sea. So let's proceed to debriefing and let's see what we got on this. How can I how can I proceed to debriefing when I've just been like sort of uh, exploded in the sea? Well yeah, we're loud in please wait. Outcome is failure. Press start button to save. Why would you want to save? Let's save anyway. Can I go back? Can I can I do something other than training? So new game. Yes. I'll we'll just put some random crap in. Let's go for Japanese this time, so what's going on? Let's go for Elite because I'm not for the games. I uh, know, still have to go. You have to. Looks like you have to go through the uh, training before you can get anywhere in the game. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you uh, anything more than the training because I'm crap at games. So uh, let's uh, go into this level here. So we wait for the game to load. Game loads up nicely for us. Go for the recommended again. Let's skip the title. Right, okay, so here we are. We have the Japanese this time. We've got, looks like we've got a cargo of missiles this time. We've got our normal cannon as well. Oh, there's a target there up ahead. Right. Right. 
think I might have been too far away for that. They're not locking on it. Is it locking on? Oh, got one. Got ya. Well, are they airships? Yeah, the graphics quite good actually. Uh, nice visuals for the age of the game or for the system it's running on. PlayStation 2, nothing to be sniffed at really for the visuals. It's got the RSX CPU, hasn't it? Or RSX card processor or whatever it is, GPU. Right, let's slow down and uh, let's turn it round. It's easier with the missiles, easier than the bombs, isn't it? So let's speed up a bit and then turn round and then blow right down so we've got a good uh, view distance. The ground targets are harder, aren't they? Whoa! Bouncing off the ground and shit. Quite forgiving in hitting the floor, isn't it? Yeah, not an easy game with the ground targets. So yeah, that was a quick look at Pacific Air Warriors 2 on the uh, sorry, PlayStation 2. And I'm going to give this one a nice 7 out of 10. It seems like a quite a capable uh, sort of flight simulator dog fight style game. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant evening. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!